Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about frontal sinus osteoma. Osteoma is the most common benign slow growing tumor of the skull base, the nose, and paranasal sinuses. And the frontal sinus is its most frequent location. This tumor may be discovered incidentally on radiograph or may enlarge to produce symptoms and really complication irreparable to its location near the orbit and anterior cranial fold. Cause of osteoma development that have been theorized include congenital inflammatory or traumatic factor, but in the most case, the cause of the osteoma is unknown. Osteoma symptom. Osteoma symptom are rare, however, it symptom may include headache, sinus infection, hearing or vision problem. Imaging finding focus the first is on the sinus x-ray or water view. So we will see where circumscribed sharply marginated around and very then region usually less than 2 cm inside. Usually grow into the sinus. Multiple paranasal osteomas are found in the Gardner syndrome. Multiple osteomas of multiple and max layer along with the frontal, sphenoid, and ethmoid sinus are really the long bone of phalanges. Cutinous and soft tissue tumor association between colon polyp with a predilection to malignancy generation. So you mean if it has multiple paranasal osteomas, it can be malignant degeneration in the future. If it is come or, or associated with colonic polyp. So here's the first of two front of view of the skull demonstrate an incident thought a rounded sclerotic lesion growing into the right frontal sinus, white arrow indicate. So it is the osteoma. The next case, 30 years old male, incidental finding in a young patient with nasal obstruction. So we can see well defined around hyperdendition in the frontal atmoid region at the left. So it is, should be osteoma or must be osteoma. Where it is the common region for it. The next case is a 75 years old male come with difficulty breathing, worsening. And what we found here, we see mucosal sickening in both muscular sinus, mild on the right, 
and sclerotic lesion on the left side of the frontal sinus. So what is it? It must be osteoma because it is in common region for it. The other case is scar radiograph in the MHA, anterior posterior and B lateral view reveal a radio-opaque lesion in the frontal area. And C and D is the CT image reveal an ossified lesion in the frontal area. It is also osteoma case. Another case of 48 years of female complaining of severe pain over the frontal sinus and of double reason. So the a sinus x-ray so the opacity in the frontal ethmoid sinus. There is typical region for osteoma. So in CT, also like in the radiograph, osteoma appearing Every like as around a very dense rather than lesion similar to the normal cortex density. And major osteomas may demonstrate central marrow. This is a CT image. You see the Hypertensity make with small hypo intent focus within the right frontal sinus. So it is typically location for osteoma. In this case, we see large osteo. Pixel fetish osteoma of the scalpel involve the right frontal cone and right orbital root, encroaching upon right orbital content. It's so large intracranial extension with lobulated machine compressing right frontal lobe. Another case, 35 years old male, the story of previous sinonasal operation, still complaining of headache and nasal discharge. So we see small hyperden lesion in the right frontal sinus. A little bit bows into the frontal region of the brain. In other case, we, we, we see the mechatenation region in the right sinus on the coronal and sinus view of the brain CT. It is typical for the osteoma. It is the case also indicate for the osteoma. A, we can see osseous lesion in the ethmoid sinus extend into the base of the frontal sinus. B, 
the outside solution in the left at my sinus extend into the orbit. But see, is the tomography scan obtained one week after surgery reveal no evidence of the ostoma in coronal CT image. This uh, computed tomography image A reveal in the A reveal extremely dense bone mass with inflammation in the right frontal sinus approaching the edge of the sinus. And B, the OCS lesion in the right frontal sinus in axial CT image. It is the same lesion. Axial sagittal and coronal view of head CT. A lubricated mass is seen just below frontal lobe. The tumor extends into olfactory fossa and etmoid sinus. The bilateral orbital wall are deformed, seen and partially missing. Most of the mass has a density equivalent to that of bone contact while the base area so a ground glass density yellow arrow indicated so in MRI we can see You can see different image of the osteoma. Like in T1, we can found in, in the low signal, and T2 also can see in low signal lesion. This is this the MI case for the 75 years old man that come with difficult breathing and worsening. So what we see is the, in the left frontal, we can see hypo or uh, low signal. In both T1 and T2. And another case, image A, in T2 image and B T1 image and C T1 image with gallodinium enhancement. So A and B, the osseous tumor, so overall non to low intensity. Compact component as in cortex or bone was low signal on T1. WI and T2WI comparable to N. Ground class appearing component was low signal on T2WI, slightly low more than cerebral Y mirror and comparable to CSF on T1WI. A fluid attendant a retention was seen between the lesion and the brain parenchyma. The fluid contains so mixed intensity. The brain parenchyma is strongly compressed by lesion mentioned above. The image see so slightly enhanced was observed on the ground glass area. Arrow indicated 
high and handsome man is washing a long display tail lumen. Arrowhead indicated. This is the train of my with and without contrast, so a large intracranial substantive left frontal region. It is mainly hyper intense heterogeneous T2 signal and hypo intense T1 signal showing a bony lesion with multilobular enhancing. Configuration compressing the underlying brain parenchyma. In the blue circle in the MAC, the suspected bridge of the anterior fossa is shown. So it is uh, so the case of Osteoma on the in my image. A is the axial T2 sequence demonstrate low signal of Y, Y arrow in the cage, and intermediate to low signal central fibrous component and serially. T2 hyper intense mucosal formation along the lateral border is present. B and C pre and post contrast signal T1 which sequence demonstrate as an enhancement of the anterior fibrous component at the base of the mass. The sclerotic tape does not does not enhance. A coronal view of the MRI so a giant frontal osteoma. The osteoma led to the development of a mucosa with intraorbital extension of the optic nerve compression. Treatment option for osteoma. If you have an osteoma and it's not caused any symptom, leaving it alone. But if you in pain or it's noticeable on your face, your stoma treatment option include surgery to remove benign head tumor, over the corner pain reliever, a pro procedure that use radiofrequency wave to Override the tumor and prevent it from growing back. Percutaneous radiofrequent ablation. Thank you.